Let's look at adding integers. Integer is integers means positive and negative numbers. Um, so positive numbers can be thought of as cash, and negative numbers did not arrive in the world until the 1600s in Europe, when banks started to issue loans and people started to go in debt, because up until then, the worst thing that could happen was that you may have zero dollars but after banks started to issue loans you might have uh, something like negative five thousand dollars to your name and you'd be in debt and so a negative number represented a financial debt and that's where they're used a lot in the world so let's have a look at uh, positive numbers being cash negative numbers being bills or debts obviously adding positives is no big deal if you had twenty dollars and ten dollars positive 20 plus 10 equals 30. So two positives added make a positive, and you've known that for a long time. What about this, though? If you had a meal at a restaurant, and the waiter gave you a ticket, and it was negative 15, it's a restaurant bill, you owe $15 to the restaurant, okay? Well, if you have $20 in your pocket as well, put these two things together, and how much money do they make? So it's a positive 20 and a restaurant bill for $15. It's like a positive 20, whoops, positive 20 plus a negative 15, okay? What does it make? Well, positive 5, right? You would have $5. Usually we put parentheses around this so we can um, enclose the negative. If we didn't, then people would start to write things like this, 20 plus negative 15. And you can't really see that there's a positive and a negative. So just for clarification, we put a parenthesis around that just to show that there are two signs here, a plus sign and a minus sign. Now this parenthesis does not mean multiply. You've seen that before where 2 times 3 can be written with parentheses. That gives 6. This is for multiplication. These parentheses do not mean multiply at all. They're just here to contain the negative sign. Okay, so let's have a look at another thing. If you had um, a parking ticket for sixty dollars, okay, that is a negative number. That's a negative parking ticket for sixty dollars. And let's say that um, the only thing you had in your pocket at the time was ten dollars. Well, put these two things together, a positive 10 plus negative 60 parking ticket, and write down what that would be. Do you think you would be in debt? Would you owe something? How much would you owe? How far would you be in debt? Well, you'd be in debt by $50, right? So 10 positives and 60 negatives definitely makes 50 negatives. What if we had um, a five dollar bill and a twenty a five dollar note rather and a twenty dollar DSL bill in your hand? How much money is in your hand? If you've got a bill of twenty dollars and five dollars cash, how much money does that make? Write it down. Well, it's positive five plus negative twenty, right? which makes negative 15. Five good guys and 20 bad guys makes uh, 15 negatives. That's easy enough. What if you held in your hand the DSL bill for $20 and the restaurant bill for $15? How much money is that? Right? Well, it's two bills. And if you add two bills together, negative 20 uh, plus negative 15, write down what that would be. Make put parentheses around this. 20 negatives and 15 negatives. Does that make 35 negatives? Right. So what if you had... the parking ticket, the restaurant bill, and the DSL bill all in your hand at the same time. 
What would that be? Well, that's a bill of 60 plus a bill of 15 plus a bill of 20. Write down how much money that would make. And again, put parentheses around your negatives here. Don't leave parentheses for this one because it's on the outside, on the very left. That's 60 neg negatives and 15 negatives, that's 75 negatives. And 20 negatives, that's, is that 95 negatives? Negative 95, right? That makes sense, doesn't it? So we have the idea. So for example, if you had a $100 bill and um, a rent bill of $350 in your hand, write down how much money that would be. Would you be in debt? How far? In debt by 250 right? If you had $240 plus an electricity bill of um, $130, how much money would that be? And we'll put parentheses around the neck just to close the negative sign here again. Well, you'd be, you would actually have money this time, you'd have $110 positive, right? Okay, what if you had, for example, the DSL bill for $20 and a $20 note in your hand? How much money is in your hand now? That's a positive 20 plus a negative 20. Do they cancel each other out? Right? That makes zero, right? There you go. So let's just do this for fun. If you had a debt of seven dollars plus two dollars positive plus a debt of three dollars plus five dollars positive plus uh, one dollar plus a debt of four dollars and put parentheses and close the negatives figure that out and how much money is that all together well one way of doing this is to put the negatives together then put the positives together and then get the answer so what we could do is say, let's start with the positives. 2 and 5 is 7, 7 and 1, 8. So that's positive 8. Then put the negatives together. Negative 7, negative 3, negative 10. And negative 4 makes a uh, negative um, 14. So you have 8 plus a negative 14. 8 positives and 14 negatives, and that makes negative 6, right? So I'll just do one more of those for fun. If you had negative 1 plus 1 minus 3, or sorry, plus negative 3 plus uh, negative 5 plus 4 um, plus uh, 10, how much money is that? And we'll then close the negative so we can see the negative signs. And again, you know, we can put the negatives together. Negative 1, negative 3, that's negative 4. And negative 5, that makes negative 9. Positive 1 and 4 is 15. And 10, that makes negative 9 plus 10. 